This is the Monroe Model F calculator. It was made for about a year or two from 1917 till 1918, maybe the beginning of 1919 as well. And it has all the same functionality and features as the later Model K and Model L. It has a full keyboard. You simply type a number and then turn the crank and that number gets added to the register and the counter is incremented. Uh, at the moment this knob is uh, twisted to the left that means that the keyboard is not cleared automatically so you can add, add several times. You can shift the carriage like this and add to the next uh, digit up. So now I've multiplied this input number by 23. Uh, if I were to move this, uh, turn this knob to the right, then the keyboard does get cleared each time you turn the crank. You can also clear the keyboard yourself by pushing this button. Uh, this knob here is the item count button. If you press the 1 here and turn this clockwise, this one gets locked in so it won't be cleared. And that allows you to use the uh, upper digits of the register as a, a separate counter. That's a, that would be a, a counter with a carry mechanism because uh, this counter register at the top, that does not have a carry mechanism. There are some interesting differences between this and the later models, the Model K. Uh, as you can see there's a, a comb here that uh, controls the uh, alignment of the uh, carriage. In, in the Model K that comb has been moved to the underside here and uh, combined with the uh, carriage shifting mechanism. And uh, this row of holes here, that uh, is used with by this little hook. So when you turn the crank, that hook uh, digs in so that it uh, holds the carriage down. On the Model K, um, yeah, there's, you don't have these holes, you just have a, a rail, as it were, at the front with uh, hooks on either side here. Uh, the next model, the Model G, also has a rail on, just on the left-hand side instead of these holes. So you can clear the counter, turning this uh, clearing handle clockwise or upwards. To clear the main register, the carriage doesn't lift automatically like it does on the Model K. You have to turn, the, uh, yeah, turn this knob a, a quarter turn to lift the carriage and then you can clear the register. Because if you, if you don't do that, yeah, it just doesn't clear properly. A lot of the uh, digits remain connected to the mechanism and uh, yeah, won't clear normally. Another interesting difference is how the uh, crank works. It has two resting positions, one at the top and one at the bottom. And uh, yeah, in between here, nothing seems to happen. If you turn clockwise, this is where the uh, addition happens, and then this it keeps going for, and this second part is where the carry uh, is performed. And at the end, when you reach this point again, uh, then it's it's over, and now you can move it back. And if you subtract the uh, the subtraction cycle starts when you reach this point. Here it, it starts subtracting and here it does the, the uh, carry. So let me show you that. Uh, so it, it, when you add it does the addition in the first half turn and now it does the carry mechanism. And we do some large numbers. 
So the first half turn, it adds the numbers and now it does the carry. Underneath the carriage you can see the mechanism here, it, look, it looks uh, quite similar to the Model K. There are some slight differences. Uh, yeah, you have the same types of intermediate gears. But, and as you see here, they yeah, still have the uh, uh, stepped drums made out of two parts. But interestingly, uh, those step drums only uh, rotate, they rotate a full circle only during a half turn of the crank. For the other half turn of the crank, they don't move at all. And uh, the carry mechanism is at the back, or more underneath uh, these. Uh, yeah, these intermediate gears, you can't really see it. Uh, the, uh, yeah, if, if a number uh, overflows from 9 to 0, it trips this little uh, switch that gets pushed in. And that pushes through to the other side and that's where the, the drum is with the uh, pins that uh, perform the carry mechanism, that perform the carry operation. I'll, uh, I'll maybe make another video to show you that uh, carry, uh, carry mechanism in operation more uh, closely. The, uh, the serial number of this machine can be found on the back. It's uh, embossed here, just stamped here into the metal, just above the uh, the decal. It says F six six three six six five three, I think, or something like that. Six five six three. So six five three three. Sorry. The numbering of uh, this model started at 6,000. And uh, yeah, so that was the Model F Monroe calculator. Thank you for watching.